I went here, I had a five-year interval in the U.S. Navy. <laughs> uh, but uh, when I was a freshman, GA, uh, Seals Grove Hall had a fire. And I had lunch with Joseph Sladek, Jr., the young, he was a freshman who set, who was a pyromaniac, and he set fire to the place. Wow. And then we had a fire at GA Hall later on, also. It was a door, I lived there. You know. And uh, then downstairs there was a little coffee shop and so forth on the, the first floor. And I remember it very well. And Dr. K Kate Cathings, uh, Hastings, you know her? She has bricks in her office from G.A. Hall. Wow. Yeah. Yeah, I've spoken to her classes a couple of times. I worked for her father. Oh, wow. And Milton Evening, Milton, well, the Standard Printing Company, they own two newspapers, Milton and Lewisburg. Axel Kleinsorg, who was a professor here and a very close friend of mine, or he's the reason I came back to Susquehanna after the Navy, because uh, I was enrolled to go to Penn State. And he took me up to the dean's office, and Dean Gall at the time, and he was partial to veterans because his son was in the Army Air Corps in World War II and was killed. So he and uh, went in his office, and, the dean's office, and he said, Bob, we got to have you back here. <laughs> so I, I wrote a letter to Penn State and respectfully declined. All. I had a job and everything at Penn State. So I was, uh, that's how I came back here after a five-year lapse. Uh, but uh, yeah, I was very active in dramatics, and at the time we had a, uh, we did public relations tours to, re for, to recruit students, really, to high schools, Western Pennsylvania, Northern New Jersey, and around. And I was the MC, uh, and that was quite a, a lot of fun, and, and I had a, a lot of standard jokes, but one of them was, I was in American history class so long the teacher used me as an eyewitness. And out in Johnstown, I think it was, Pennsylvania, a history teacher and I was very offended by that. <laughs> and he came up, he, he went into a rant after this, hell yeah. But uh, we had a, it was quite a, quite a thing, we, we went all over and, but we did one thing that was really unique. We were the first mixed group to take a show, they took a show into the United States Federal Penitentiary here in Lewisburg. And that was quite an event. I was the MC, and we went to, it's a maximum security, you'd go through these pocket doors and you hear the clank behind it, and then the door is open, then you go clank, and then you go through these, about five or six of them. And finally we, uh, anyway, got out there and I always walked out on the stage and in order to get audience control, I'd walk out in the apron stage and count five seconds off to my, you know, 1,001, 1,002, 1,003. That's how you get audience control, by the way, anytime you're going to do any public speaking. And uh, so the, uh, my opening remarks, that were all males, of course, and the prisoners were a bit raunchy. And here, just 10 feet in the front row, is the warden flanked by a minister, a priest, and a rabbi. <laughs> so I had to quickly switch gears. So I said, okay, I said, I want you to, uh, and here's where experience comes in. I said, I want you to do exactly what I do. So I clapped my hands three times, and they clapped their hands three times. And then I stomped on the floor three times, and they all did. And of course, this is in this big area, uh, just flat plank seats bolted down. You know, very stark, and the, the sound just echoed, reverberated like crazy. I did that three times, and I, and I said, thank you very much. I said, I heard the warden lost his wristwatch here in the auditorium. <laughs> so they, that got him going. But we had, uh, like I said, we had a mixed group. Janet Rohrbach, who just passed away recently, she was a music 
well, she was a music professor in the music school, a uh, music teacher. She was a concert pianist, and Jane Daly, who was a voice man, was in the music school. She was beautiful, and she ended up singing on Broadway, by the way. Wow. Yeah. And uh, when I introduced her, she came out in a yellow, flowing yellow, you know, gown, uh, and they just went bananas. I mean. And that took the warden quite a while, uh, about three or four minutes to quiet them down. Uh, she would never have had to have sung a song. <laughs> but you may not know this name, but it was interesting. The one event that one of the most famous inmates that ever went was there in was Alger Hiss. He was a very famous Russian spy and at that time. Yeah, and he was in the audience. So I performed for Alger Hiss. So, yeah, we had we had a lot of notable events and I, doing that. Other things, I have a legacy here. My mother went here. I went here. My late baby brother went here. Tremendous. Uh, played for Jim Garrett. He and Jim Garrett were, were with this place's name. They were glued at the hip. And then most recently, in 2009, one of my granddaughters, Sarah Hackenberg, graduated from Susquehanna. Magna cum laude, I might add. So we have quite a legacy here my family. And years ago, a great uncle of mine, Dr. Joseph Hackenberg, was the dean of Susquehanna University. So this is a, not exactly a, an alien place for me. <laughs> it's, uh, I've, I've had quite a, a lot of great, I have a lot of fond associations with uh, Susquehanna and, uh, and classes and uh, I have always loved school. I had a great relationship with my professors and uh, one of my best ones was Dr. William A. Russ Jr. And uh, he's, he was quite a notable guy. He was head of the president of the Pennsylvania Historical Society. So when you drive through Pennsylvania, you come into those blue signs that say well, uh, the name of the town. Yeah. He's responsible for those. Yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah, he was quite a guy, and he had a sarcastic sense of humor, which I just love. He would open the class and say, well, let's see who we can, uh, uh, just see if we can eliminate the sleepers today. And uh, he was quite a, a character of characters. And we had a classmate, he was an ordained minister, as a matter of fact, and I'll never forget him. He's, uh, Dr. Russ asked, he would ask you a lot of questions, and sometimes he'd open the class with questions. Ask the student, he said, uh, tell me when did, uh, I think it was when, when did church and state separate, something like that, some famous time and date in American history. He immediately responded and gave him the answer. Oh, he said, oh. He said, I'm trying, Dr. Russ says, I'm trying to register pain. He said, you're off by one year. And, and he went, went to a book, he says, right here, page 364, Dr. Rush, here, here it is. He said, yeah, I know. I said, the, the guy who did the text, he said, I had him as, as a student at the University of Pittsburgh, and he never did catch on. <laughs> There's no way you could get ahead of Dr. Rush. He was a character and a half, and one of the great professors I had. Here. Yeah, I got my first job out of Susquehanna through my Navy connections. And I went to work for Young and Rubicam, very large. I was the second Susquehanna grad to work for Young and Rubicam, by the way. But went, on the, went to work on the General Electric account in the radio TV programming department. And we had a spokesman by the name of Ronald Reagan. So I got to meet a future president also. So I've had a lot of great experiences in my life, I, and uh, Susquehanna was one of the great ones. And uh, as I mentioned, yeah, I had a lot of fond memories of this, the school here, and friends, so many friends, most of whom have passed away, by the way. Uh, there's one here, one of my fraternity, Walt Albert, he was just right there, just being interviewed. And, <laughs> and uh, but, uh, and Roger Blau, the Blau wife, Roger Blau was a fraternity brother of ours. Oh, what fraternity? 
Prime Delta. Prime Delta? That was yeah. a great one. Well, we were in the old house down. Most beautiful house anywhere in central Pennsylvania. Slate, slate roof, peg plank flooring, and a baby grand piano in the, in the main. In the, but in the main living room, main, big, just a magnificent place. It's now a vacant lot. Well, they have a tent there for homecoming. Uh, yeah, that was. They, they have pictures of it up in the. Uh, I was up there yesterday and spent time with some of the young brothers. So I had a, a great adventure here. It was a, enjoyed my time here.